Hello everyone, GameDog here, and welcome back to Let's Play Papa Louie 3 in Sunday's Attack. So, I've looked at the levels I can potentially do. I kind of want to utilize the double jump, so I will pick Tim right now, who is grooving out all, yeah, all over the place right now. And I'm going to go after this professor right here. Um, I forgot his name. I think he's a professor, though, so we will... Uh, we will, uh, we will continue forward, though. We're going to need double jump in order to get this thing, actually. Um, actually, if I can check the, um, yeah. If possible, I would like to check the, um, uh, the, uh, uh, does not appear. Okay, so you can't, I, yeah, he can't get anything else right now. Oh, my guess. I love his running animation. How's he attack, actually? Oh, he just, like, slaps the opponent and, like, does dance, awesome dancing moves. Oh, my goodness. Tim is the absolute, I, <laughs> I really like how this guy runs and walks. That is so funny to me. Um, okay, I'm not assuming, I, I, I'm not assuming anything, but I'm assuming, actually, I'm assuming that you can, can you could potentially use a wall jump or, or double jumps to get things that are up there, or wall climbs, actually. Okay, now, we have to search pretty thoroughly, because, um, looking at the mission, um, oh my goodness, how he, like, raises his hand, like, he's always dancing is hilarious to me whenever he jumps, but, um, whatever, we'll, we'll continue forward here, do not have the swift swim here, uh, we gotta be careful of those. Now, I, I'm, I'm assuming that, um, that, uh, the, the, yeah, like with the last level, it, it's kind of just, like, do you have the double jump, yes or no? Um, which means that, uh, which means that uh, it's gonna be a little bit, up, oh, oh, you know, it's gonna be a little bit, um, uh, harder to actually get to certain areas, but, like, not to others. I'm also, and that, this is probably not gonna be the case, but I'm also kind of assuming that a double jump is going to be somewhat of a poor man's, uh, glide. Uh, which, I'm not really 100% sure how this works. Like, maybe the jump, the double jump has special properties to it. Like, maybe during the second jump, uh, you can, you can, like, uh, access special platforms or something. Uh, like we're playing Don Kong 64 or something. Okay, let's try to get this heart over here, uh, because we can. I was not rising in that water for a second. That was a bit weird, actually. Okay, let's try to go down here so I'm not bounced all over the place by, by that right there, so I don't have to wait. Okay, good, let's move on. Okay, I want to get out of this water. I want to get back to, uh, to the surface, um, as soon as possible, just because I want to start exploring and, uh, trying to utilize this double jump. You know, I noticed that a lot of this game is actually underwater, but once again, I don't really mind that, because the, the underwater sections are actually really fun. Actually, looking at the jump height, it appears that um that I, he actually jumps a lot higher than anyone with glide, so maybe that's how I'm supposed to use it. Uh, wait a second, did I just pass through that enemy? Maybe I'm, like, invincible when I double jump either uh, as well. Oh, wait a second, what's that balloon right there? I think, uh, actually, if I look here, yeah, we need wall jump in order, or wall climb door in order to get that, so we're gonna have to come back here later. I'm assuming you need glide. Okay, yeah, so, I'm, I'm gonna assume that, um, Double jump is for like vertical reach uh, when, when it comes to higher platforms. And, like double jump is for uh, is for um, wait no no uh, d yeah glide is for um, uh, horizontal reach and double jump is for vertical reach. So I'm assuming that maybe you uh, he cannot like I simply cannot access pla some platforms that the other can't, which I guess would be the point of having them be two separate abilities in the first place. Like as of now, I'm I'm a little bit baffled by like why you would ever use one ability over the other, but whatever. Uh, okay, we got some more bomb pops right here. You know I have yet to um, experiment if um, if uh, the, the, the swift can actually like crash right through them i'm gonna assume no because um they they kind of act like explosives i'm gonna hit by that one yeah there we go um because they sort of act like explode oh my goodness okay don't die to 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 banana people okay um let's continue forward here we're gonna be a little bit more careful now okay thankfully i have a very tiny hit box okay well whatever we're gonna float back did i hit a checkpoint at a point yes i did actually so we don't have to do all that over again okay good we're gonna continue to go back in continue to find that professor i seriously have a guy's name actually but we'll probably we'll probably figure it out by the end of this episode like, if, if I can get, like, one thing per episode, I'm gonna consider that a win. Um, that might make this game go a little bit longer than I expected to, but I think- it, Oh, I almost ran right into that enemy, like, it was the, uh, the, the level I was just in. Okay, let's continue on this way. Um, perhaps there's, uh, oh, wait a second, do I need anything for- I need ground pound in order to get all these fools, actually, so I think I'll just ignore them for now. Uh, do not- like, honestly, whatever I'm rushing through this game, you can tell I'm rushing when I'm playing kind of a pacifist game. Uh, for the time being, though, okay, I'd find it, I find it a little bit difficult to actually get onto a platform, um, after I double jump. Let's see, okay, let's do that. You know, I don't think I've actually killed an enemy with his dance moves yet. Oh my god, this, I really like characters that, like, dance to attack. I don't know why, I, don't, I always find that very amusing. Uh, let's, uh, continue down here. I cannot go that way, so let's just go into the water. I can't believe I actually remember that there was water down here, even though I was just in, not even a minute ago. Uh-oh, um, let's see, let's, uh, continue down this way. Yeah, don't get hit by those, uh, those, like, uh, red berry things. I don't know what to call those enemies. I really don't know, like, I don't know my berries that well, personally. Like, I know blue bears, no black bears, no just about everyone that phone is named after because I'm weird like that, but, uh, let's see. Oh, oh, go, yeah, okay, let's, uh, let's continue forward here. I thought I, I still had invincibility. Ah, whatever. I, I'm assuming the infants, in, the, whenever your character gets hit, well, whenever your character gets hit, you have, like, a, you have a, a certain, a, a moment in which, um, 
Uh-oh, let's uh, try to... Uh, how did I avoid that? You have a moment in which, like, you have, like, um, like a little stars flying around you, like the cartoony, uh, car like the cartoony Dizzy animation. Um, I'm assuming that's your invincibility, friends. And when those go away, that's when your invincibility runs out. What do I need for the coin, actually? I need Glide. Oh, yeah, I probably could assume that because of what happened earlier. Uh, yeah, I saw some that, that Tim flat out could not access. Uh, so let's uh, continue, uh, continue onwards here. You know, what, when I looked at uh, this uh, this times two um, uh, icon for a second, what I actually thought that meant uh, when I first saw it was that maybe you would collect like double the coins, um, which I'm curious as to see like how the game would play out if uh, something like that was the case. Like maybe maybe certain levels only have like 70 coins in them and you flat out cannot get um, all 100. I just noticed that this enemy is supposed to be a kiwi. That's kind of cool actually. Oh, yeah, I think it's the first thing that actually attacked me as well. Okay, let's uh, fly onto this or uh, yeah, swim onto that so it'll bounce me up. Get a little bit of momentum even though it probably is matter in the grand scheme of things okay let's grab this checkpoint just in case i die again okay let's um let's do that you know when when, when tim lifts his finger up uh when he attacks i'm starting to wonder if that counts as a uh oh um i'm starting to wonder if that can like count as an attack when maybe you can hit, hit enemies from uh from uh from uh from the top actually this would be a good opportunity to test this out let me see uh no it does not count okay I, it, it, it kind of looks like like his other moves is to like poke enemies as well because so i'm assuming you can probably see why i thought that at first but it does not appear to be the case um i did see a platform up there but tim can I've reached, I'm assuming that's something you need wall climb for. Uh, so for the time being, though, I might have to. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to go back to the left here. I want to get through this level again. Like I might have to get back to the very end just to get this. Uh, just to get this. Um, you know, if there is one problem I do have this game so far, one thing I do find a little bit annoying is the fact that you do have to play mostly like the whole level over again just to get one a secret, which is a little bit annoying. It gets kind of tedious sometimes, but I'm I'm pretty confident I can make my commentary interesting enough to uh to make that work. So let's go back up here. Um, okay, I'm gonna need. Uh, do I need? Okay, I need. Uh, I need uh, Vicky's or uh, some of the other characters. Um, ground pound or get that guy. I remember that area distinctly actually. You know, didn't this level take me a longer time before kind of kind of kind of yeah kind of goes show that uh, you just get used to these levels after a while uh let's see yeah because uh, like i can just probably just blaze through the first level in fact i have a couple times i think all i'm missing now for that level is the is the hundred coin sun uh which i might go out of my way to get if uh, some of the, some of these other ones prove to be a little bit more difficult so let's continue forward uh let's see we have um Continuing through this water, uh, we have uh, some more of these barriers right here. Let's see if we can like sneak through here before they grow again. Oh, okay. Well, I actually swam right into that one. At the very least, I'm at full health. Yeah, I'm starting to wonder. I could probably have noticed this if I paid a little bit more attention, but I think um, hitting a checkpoint actually um, restores all of your health. It kind of feels like that is something that happens, which is certainly very interesting. I mean, it makes it so you can kind of. Well, it's kind of like a Mario World where uh, where like you get um uh, where you get uh, where you get uh, health back uh, where, you, where you get a mushroom every time you pass a checkpoint if you don't have one already. Okay, yeah, that has to be it right there because. Uh, oh yeah, I can see why Robbie or some of the other characters would have a hard time getting up here. Uh, yeah, so apparently if there's like no plasmas whatsoever, that's the only way to do that. We we uh we rescued Professor Fitz. That's that's awesome actually. Okay, so let's get out of here. I'm I'm I'm. I'm kind of curious as to what his weapon is going to be, or like what he could potentially do, or like even what his ability is going to be. Maybe he, um, let's see, he appears, oh, he's a gliding guy. I wonder how he glides, actually. Uh, let's see. So, and he apparently, he appears to throw like a, like a bottle as well. I'm curious as to how that will work. But for now, I want to play as Tim some more, um, just so I can go ahead and get this. Uh, just because, like, I, like, I kind of like that item act. I mean, I, I kind of want to rescue that guy, actually. Just any, any more guys I can rescue is, is always appreciated. So let's go back in. Actually, I just thought of something. Um, Tim is a, t Tim is a dancing man, apparently. So, you, you know what every, um, dancer needs? He, he needs, like, a, like, a, like, a wardrobe of, like, every, of, like, one, uh, of, like, one style for every single, uh, of, like, uh, of, like, one, uh, style for every single, uh, D dance number or something like dumb like that. Okay, let's so let's actually see what what is. Oh my goodness, it's a disco. I, I had a feeling this would be amusing. Yo, let's let's. I, I usually like to play as the original one. Let's play as Golden Tim for a little while though. Uh, his double jump is gonna be very useful. I actually remember. Um, I think I actually flat out remember where this was. Actually, I think at the last level there was a um, there was a section in which I could have um. Yeah, in which I could have used a double jump to potentially jump up and grab something. Okay, so let's play as Golden Tim. Oh, yeah, okay, well, uh, good old times, jumping into enemy... What on earth? Okay, well, this, this the, the beginning of this level is actually kind of annoying, but whatever. We'll, we'll try to speed run through it. Um, I don't think I can actually get anything else while, while I'm here. Let, let me check, actually. Let me check in the menu. Um, I cannot. Okay, good. So so that, so I don't really need to worry about anything except dying over and over in dumb ways, apparently. Okay, let's, uh, let's go right through that again. I still want to do this level, actually, because, uh, I mean, we have just done this level in the last episode. So, but I really, really want to get this. Um, I, I, I especially want to get this. Uh, this. Um, this. Uh, this. Um, this uh, guy right here. 
Um, I actually forgot his name as well. I, I know he's a pretty interesting um, guy, though. So we'll uh, continue forward. Uh, let's see. Okay, don't die the dumbest way. Oh, don't don't take don't take damage. I mean, certainly don't die. But taking damage is the first step. Is the first step to not dying in dumb ways. At the very least, if you ever get bored, you have uh, Tim's dancing animation. To look at that is so amusing to me for some reason. And uh, what you know what isn't amusing though? Dying to certain dumb enemies. Okay. Um. Oh wait a second. His his hit. Yeah. His attack actually turns into a kick whenever he's he's in midair. I don't think there's any other. Oh, I can't think of any other characters in the game that actually act like that. That's kind of interesting actually i wonder if the, maybe tim was um yeah i mean this starts to happen when uh when he played games like this for a little while but i started to wonder um like maybe maybe tim was like uh was like originally planned to be the only character he plays or something and thus they had more time to work with him um and as a result of that maybe they have like more moves for him more setups for him like more things he can do like uh, uh, what i can imagine a game like with the when, when they were like in the conference room talking about this game for the first time or something like that what i can see it being is um maybe like a lot of guys uh they're just saying like okay we're gonna have a, this is gonna be a platform but like every character is gonna have like a like a different unique ability um and and they were originally supposed to have like seven characters or something however going on they figure you know what saving the other customers would have actually been a pretty um would have actually would be a pretty interesting mechanic and they figured like okay on top of actually saving them like i think you do in other popular games this like maybe you could also use that to your advantage and actually plays them as well I mean, they're pretty much a static all, all around, so maybe that could be kind of a kind of an interesting a mechanic, and uh, that could have been why they uh, like maybe maybe like um, I'm trying to think here like who else would have been like in the original like seven trio they were thinking of or something? Well, definitely Papa Louie. Um, I mean, he's the main character of the series, so so you have to have him. So then definitely Tim, maybe Captain Corey as well. Maybe she could have originally had Swiss uh, Swiss swim because oh I forgot that guy shot at me actually. Maybe she could have originally had Swiss swim because um I did that whole level over again. Oh my goodness um. I'll do it. I'll do it. I I want to I want to get this challenge actually out of the way. Um, like maybe he could have maybe Captain Corey could have Swiss. Like I'm thinking, who appeared in the uh in the original um in the original cutscene? I mean, they actually took a little bit of time to talk about Tim as well, or like show off what he's actually doing. Like oh my goodness, like uh like Papa Louis specifically invited him to whatever that show was uh that that, that originally started this whole mess. Uh, let's see, let's go back down here. I really like my speedrun strats of uh yeah being able to you know I noticed that you have like a like a really weird like invincibility circle around you whenever he uses attack, which is kind of cool. Maybe I can use that to not really have to worry about enemies as much. I mean honestly, as I play uh oh um as I play more of this level, I just have to worry less and less because I discover more about like the intricacies of these characters and these levels. Uh, like, for example, I noticed I can, like, well, well, that's not going to really work out as well. You know, maybe I could, um... Uh, you know what? It kind of like over a couple episodes ago. I think I'm going to save this for next time because this episode is actually dragging on for a little bit. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.